Welcome back to P2. Today we're looking at the binomial expansion, unit 4.3. So we've already kind of started looking at a few bits that are leading up to this in Pascal's triangle and our NC orbit, our N choose R, which helps us find our coefficients. Now we're going to actually look at the full expansion. So binomial expansion is always going to have two terms in it and it's going to allow us to expand um, by varying powers. In an exam you're probably not going to have to expand by too many powers or you might need to look at specific terms within the expansion but we'll get to that as we start looking at more and more questions on this. So if I have a plus b to the power n this as an expansion is going to look like the following. a to the power n. Then when I look at my next term, it's going to be n1. This is my ncr. And we'll talk about that in a bit. a to the power n minus 1 times b to the power 1. I then move on to my second one, so or my third term in total, where it's n2 which will give me my coefficient, a to the n minus 2, b to the power 2. And this will keep on going all the way up until I eventually just have b to the power n. Now, my nr, the bit that's in these brackets, that is my ncr, or in full this would be n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. But this button is on your calculator. You'll see it with, if you do shift, and then the divide sign. And you'll see above it, in yellow, you'll see ncr. So this is it in terms of an expression or algebra. What we'll do now is we'll actually do it as examples. As most of, most of this maths is always learned best by first a demonstration and then practice yourself. So let's get stuck into the first example. So here we have it. We want to use binomial theorem to expand our bracket. So 2 plus 3x to the power 4. So we get 2 plus 3x to the power of 4. Now, expanding this very straightforward. So I'm going to start with a to the power of 4. That's just my first term to the power of 4. Then I've got my ncr. So this is going to be 4, 1. Okay, this top value is always going to be the maximum here. So it's going to stay the same all the way through. This bottom value, this technically is 4, 0. Um, we don't bother doing it because that's just going to give me the value 1. So this is where we start. And then we get 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 3x. Then I move on to the next one. So it's 4, 2. 2 to the power 2, 3x squared. Plus 4, 3. 2 to the power 1, 3x squared cubed plus and then 4 4 we don't bother doing this is just one so this is just going to be my final term to the power 4 and if you follow that okay then this is going to become really easy so first thing we want to do 2 to the power 4 in our calculators and that's going to give us 16 and then the next bit is moving on. So for 1, what I need to do is I need to go to my calculator. And in your calculator, you're just going to do 4 and then shift and the divide sign to get up your C, your NCR. And then our last button is the number 1. So this is what I'm putting into the calculator. And then when you press equals, you should get the value of 4. So this is going to be 4 times 2 cubed is 8 times 3x plus. Now, you can do the same again in your calculator. You can do 4, shift, divide, and then the button 2 to get your next value. 
or you can use the arrows in your calculator to go back to the previous bit that you typed in, your previous input, and just change the one to a two, just to save you a little bit of time. That comes out as six times two squared is four times, and then three x squared will be nine x squared. And again, go into your calculator and get in your four, choose three up. You'll get the value four, that's times two. And then three cubed is 27 x cubed. And then finally, three x to the power of four is 81 x to the power of four. And now all I've got to do is uh, simplify each of my terms. So we've got 16 here. 4 times 8 times 3 is 96x. 6 times 4 times 9 is 216x squared. 4 times 2 times 27 is also 216x cubed. And then 81x to the power of 4. And that is the expansion of this bracket, or of this expression. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. We'll have a look at another example though now.